Hi everyone, this is a quick video for ANSYS Fluent Workbench Design Modeler tutorial. Today we will look at uh, the non-Newtonian flow in a three-dimensional pipe with heat transfer. First, let's open the ANSYS file of the laminar flow we created in the previous video. And save it as ANSYS Fluent Non Newtonia. Then save it. Next, we left click the front icon and uh, hold it and uh, drag it to near the geometry and mesh cell. When the cell color has become the red, then drop it and uh, change the name as. Non Newtonia. Here we just uh, share the property of geometry and mesh in the laminar flow with the non Newtonia flow models, and uh, then we can just start from the setup. Here we double click the setup, select the double precision, click OK. In the front server window, we first select the models and uh, double click the left energy and uh, select the energy equation to open the thermal property settings in the model. Click OK. And make sure the viscosity is laminar. Click OK. And in the material, we click the create and edit button and uh, give a new name as risk. The density is 1000. The specific heat is 4000 and the thermal conductivity is 0 0.6. For the viscosity, we open the drop down menu and uh, choose the non Newtonian power law. And uh, we just give the index K as 0 0.1 and the index n as 0.6. For the minimum and the maximum limit, since we do not want to give any limit to the model, so we just input a very large number here, just like so minus 1e10 and 1e10. Click OK. Select No. Close and uh, we will find the new material we just created here. And in the cell zone condition, we should make sure that the material in the model is the risk and click OK. And in the boundary condition, we should make sure that the inlet surface is mass flow inlet and the mass flow is 0 0.05 and the direction should along the z axis. Here we just click the thermal tab and uh, make sure the total temperature here is a constant as 330 and click OK. For the outlet, it is pressure outlet, zero pressure and the thermal is 300, click OK. And for the wall, it's stationary, no slip wall, but for the thermal button, we use the temperature and the temperature is 450. Then click OK. Well, in the solution mesh third, we use the simple one, the second order upwind, second up order upwind, and the solution control to monitors. We just add the residue to 1e minus 5. 1e minus 5. Then click OK. For the initialization, same as the laminar flow modeling, commit from the inlet, initialize. And uh, here in the run calculation, the number of iteration is 1000 and uh, calculate.
Well, after about 400 time step, the calculation has been completed, and uh, we just click OK. And uh, we close the server, click OK. And uh, here, we just check the temperature control in the result. So we just double click the result. And uh, we just uh, create a plan, C4 name, and uh, the ZX plan Y equals zero. The color, the mode is wearable, and the wearable is temperature. Apply. Well, this is the temperature distribution in the X Z plan when Y equals zero. We will see the temperature change here. It's very obvious. Then we close it and uh, we have finished the modeling of the non-Newtonian flow with heat transfer. Thank you very much.